Russia is opposing a draft United Nations resolution to extend the mandate of an international inquiry into chemical weapons attacks in Syria. And the Syrian Arab Republic. Russian Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Ryabkov's remarks on Wednesday that the country would not support the resolution came a few hours after Russia rejected a report by the Joint Investigative Mechanism blaming the Syrian government for a deadly toxic gas attack. There can now be no higher priority for the Security Council than to renew the Joint Investigative Mechanism. Anyone who prevents us from achieving this goal is aiding and abetting those who have been using chemical weapons in Syria. It is no coincidence that the text, including the part about analyzing what happened in Khan Saikun, is full of expressions such as possibly, probably, might be, suppose, most likely. Mr. Moulet, do you really think this kind of terminology is acceptable in a report on such a serious matter? Meanwhile, the Syrian government accused U.S. and Turkish troops of illegally invading the country. Turkey today is a colonizer country. Its forces on our soil are illegal, just as the American forces on our soil are also illegal. Shaban also said in a televised interview that Damascus would not give up on the northern city of Raqqa, which was liberated from Islamic State last month by the U.S.-backed Kurdish-led Syrian Democratic Forces.